It does hold strong. Oh! <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Sinking Simulator 2. Yes, it is back! The good old Sinking Simulator that I played like two and a half to three years ago at this point. Uh, one of the first bigger games on my channel that did really well, so it holds a special place in my heart. And the development back then was discontinued, sadly. But now, with a new programmer, it is back and it is improved and better than before. Frame rate issues are not a problem anymore. And we get a lot of tools. I'm excited for this. It is, it is pretty bare bones as it is of now. And I'm going to show you what this is all about. As the title says, it is a sinking simulator, so we get some tools to play around with our ship. For anyone who doesn't know, we can put holes, poke holes into it, and as you can see, the ship now floods in this compartment. It's actually gonna rip apart. I mean, it's, it's still holding, um, but slowly and steadily, it's going to fill up more over here and eventually rip. We, we can speed up the process here. This looks good. Looks like an engine room of some sorts. Let's do something over here and over here and slowly bring it down. Of course, if you are too impatient for any of these things, you can just take your mouse and rip it apart right in the middle. There you go. Uh, or just slice it. <laughs> however you want, and it falls apart into little pieces. It runs really well. You couldn't have done that in the previous version. Uh, this one greatly optimized, and of course you can respawn everything. The game in its current state, or the simulator, or sandbox, whatever you want to call it, in its current state comes with a whole plethora of ships. I'm gonna say like 20 to 30, and yeah, you can rip them all to pieces. You could just f decide to flood something. You can just like slowly pour the water in certain places. That is a new feature, which I like. Can ramp up the flood speed. You can, of course, just choose different areas that are flooded. This is a new tool. You can just decide to put water into rooms, which, which seems like an odd choice. It is just then behaving as if there was water in certain areas. Of course, bigger ships now are not a problem. The Titanic here, a little wobbly, but after all, it is a huge ship. And it runs at like 600 FPS at this point. And we could see how stable this thing is when it hits maybe a few more waves, higher waves. There you go, that looks really like rough sea. And well, it holds strong. It does hold strong. Oh, <laughs> what just happened there? It just got ripped to shreds when I played around with the buoyancy. The different tools you get with the window, the main window, another window that you can play around with. This is basically your control panel. And I'm gonna delete the Titanic, I'm gonna spawn it again. And uh, yeah, we're gonna play around together with these for a little bit, just to see what happens. Uh, it got ripped to shreds when I played around with the with the, this. So I'm, I'm a little bit, oh my god. God, it just gets ripped to shreds when I play around with that. Again, this is still in development. Some things might not go as expected. Um, some some weird behaviors are gonna happen. <laughs> okay, that slider needs to be way down. Oh man, it, it is really rough sea. The lines are breaking. Well, let's pierce it. Let's play iceberg. Oh, that is a big hole. That, that hole is a little bit too too big, I'm gonna say. That is a very big hole, and yeah, let, let's try that again. Oh yeah, of course, you can also spawn underwater, because that makes sense. Um, yeah, it fills up with water at this point, no big surprise, and it stays down here. That's that's what would happen if you had a ship underwater. Well, let's, let's try the thing again where it like guts cut. Let's pierce it, very small tool. There you go, good enough. And it slowly fills up goes down. Oh, it actually broke in the middle. Huh. That is quite interesting. Didn't that happen to the real thing too? We should try that again. All right. It floods on the side, slowly going down, slowly sinking. And there is actually, yeah, it, it seems to rip. This time it behaves a little bit different. It seems to be an interesting kind of simulation. It is only on a 2D level, obviously, but it works really well. It's really smooth. And I do like really do like that it works so well. All right, let's let's see what else we got. Oh, that is the use a sinkable 2. Well, oh, unsinkable. Yeah, that would be a horrible name for a ship. The use is sinkable. That would be quite horrible, wouldn't it be? All right, so let's make let's make that window a little bit smaller and let's see how accurate this is. The motor already came off. 
not the motor, the screw at the back. I forgot what it's called, the propeller. One of those things. Anyways, let's let's see about that unsinkable part, shall we? It has a lot of different compartments. I'm gonna select our piercing tool. I'm gonna pierce in here and see. Okay, it fills slowly with water. You can set the water weight. So if we want it, we could have really light water or a really light chip, one of those things. I'm gonna leave it here, this seems pretty accurate. And well, that keeps it safe because it has different compartments. Oh, what is happening here though? Oh right, the motor broke off or the propeller broke off and then water ran into here and now it's slowly, slowly flooding. So much for unsinkable, I didn't really have to do anything. And it starts sinking. So, so much for that. Well, it takes it a while, but it's going down. One thing I would like to see would be to increase the speed so we wouldn't have to wait. I mean, I do enjoy a slow and steady sinking just like anyone else. This is going down. This is probably going to land probably on the floor. Let's let's make the water a little bit heavier. Bring it to the maximum there. <laughs> it just rips everything apart because the water is, I guess, heavy as stones. Ooh, yes. That, that cannot be good. That cannot be good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, the ball of steel. I like the sound of that. And it, it, it is a ball of steel. Ooh, a base. Interesting. Look at that. What's possible? The editing of creations is fairly easy. It's basically done in a painting program, as far as I can tell. It's a PNG, a transparent PNG. Uh, there should be some guides on the homepage. Oh, it's just going down. Oh, okay, you, you're just gonna sink. That's, that's fine. I guess it has to do with the water weight. Of course, we can also just move things around if we want. Slowly drag them around. I, I don't know why. It's it, it makes it look very gooey. But yes, as I was saying, if you want to make something yourself, it's basically painting a picture. Let's spawn this big cargo ship. Oh, I like this. Uh, it's basically like painting a picture and the different colors represent different materials like steel um, or empty compartments. Basically, the different physical settings of a material are described with the color. I want to play around with buoyancy again. That was quite interesting. I'm... Oh, there you go. Just, just go crazy on the settings. Oh, what? <laughs> it just disintegrated. Interesting. I guess that's the strength of the ship that I can set. Let's spawn the second cargo ship. Oh, this is a small one. Now, I increased the strength and rigidity, so maybe it's a little... Never mind, it just started sinking. I, I guess the waters are too strong for it. Bye-bye, little ship. Ooh, a cruise liner. The carnival dream. Yeah, it, it is way more rigid now, and but it still... What? Why? Why do you... Oh, is it the buoyancy? Is it, is it the water weight? It, it might be the water weight. There's a lot to play around with to get it absolutely perfect, absolutely right. But yeah, cruise ship, lovely. Let's make it sink. Just cut off the nose and see what happens. Goes up and down, up and down. There we go. Now we have a sinking ship. This is so abstract. Just a few thousand people just drowned there. Just That just happened. That's sad. Ooh, look at this really, really long ship and something just fell off. I, I don't I don't know about this. No, I'm just gonna poke a hole into it. Just 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 a little hole here. And then we're gonna see what happens. Ow! It is protected down here. So no, water doesn't flow through, so we're gonna have to cut a bigger hole. Nah, it's still okay. Unacceptable. Just slice it in half. Slice. It's like fruit ninja, but with boats. Big boats. The MS Quantum of Seas. I'm 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 curious how big you can go. As you can see, the game you, you can zoom out. I, I really am curious how big this can go. Here we got a ship. I would also like to see to spawn several ships. For now, it only seems to be able to handle one individual ship. I guess the more ships you would have, the more it would hit your frames per second. But yeah, submarines. We got submarines now. Fantastic. Let's, let's, let's poke a hole in it. Oh, that, that, that was fun while it lasted. Anyway, I think that gives a good overview of the current tool. You can download it yourself, the alpha or whatever version it is. I'm not entirely sure at this point. But yeah, you can download yourself, paint some ships and play around with it and see where the high seas will take you. Probably underwater. And I think I'm going to end it off with... <laughs> ripping it apart like that. Oh, this is glorious. I, I can... Oh, yes. And you just post it on and it rips apart. That buoyancy. Good times. Some hotkeys would be nice too. Oh man, yeah, it is slowly ramping it up. Things are behaving really weird. 
Ooh, yes. Uh, I can't get enough. Oop, what? Where did it go? It's gone. Let's let's go ahead and drop the Titanic from, I don't know, a few hundred feet in the air. Up. Oh, it goes down and... <laughs> That is weird behavior. That looks like confetti. That looks like a lot of confetti. It does, doesn't it? Well, you should not drop ships into water like that. Yep, that, that ripped it apart. Good times. Good times. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was Sinking Simulator 2 again. You can download the game in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This game has a personal place in my heart because it was one of the first videos that kind of got popular on my channel and helped me out a lot. I hope you're going to have fun with this, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. More guns in the radar. Let's, let's battle this. Let's do this. Slow but steady wins the race. Oh, yeah, so many guns, and they stop shooting. Okay, I'm not shooting my own turrets. I was worried about that. That is not something that's going to happen. Oh, shit. Ow. Come on. Good, good, good stuff, Weasel. Now, now flip over. There you go. True Weasel helped up True Weasel. I'm so nice to myself. What?